Well, we come to swing, so that's what it is. But people forget the dancing part. You know, I think people have gotten used to to the whole thing of of going to listen to live jazz, and they've forgotten a whole lot about the dancing part. We, we usually um, partner with the MSU Swing Dance Society on campus, and one of the, the, these years we had a, a former student uh, who was a who had graduated from College of Music and Music Education. Being an educator, the first thing she said is, Professor Whitaker, we should have uh, dance lessons before the swing dance. Part of the fear is everybody's wondering, well, am I doing the right steps? Am I doing this? So she came up with this idea that maybe we should we should have a, a, a lessons. So it was amazing, but everybody was afraid to even be embarrassed at the lessons. Me and Cookie had to get out on the floor to encourage it. You know, Cookie is is my wife, and she also helps manage the jazz out area. But everyone was uh, afraid to get out on the floor for the lessons, so we were the first ones to jump in and take the lessons and we have photo and video footage from that time but it was so much fun it was it was uh, it was great fun and people were embarrassing themselves and tripping over their feet but it was so much fun and in the end I think people valued that in order for you to really get into this you got to be willing to make a fool of yourself. Professor Gillespie, my drum professor who not only is an incredible drummer but also an incredible dancer <laughs> and so he always he always ends up on the dance floor, uh, just a little bit, just showing some of the students, uh, you know, a couple, a couple of dance moves. A couple of the students wanted to learn a slow dance, uh, almost like a ballroom type of dance. And so I proceeded to teach them what I knew about the dance, which is not very much, but I knew enough to, to get around a little bit. And I saw everyone just kind of sitting around, you know, and maybe there was one couple that, that would always get up. So I decided that um, while uh, the rest of, of the big band was improvising, um, I was going to go off, go off stage. And I just started grabbing people. It's like, okay. And we formed this, this, uh, this long, like, row. And we're going around the the dance floor. So we were being the, the Rockettes and people started laughing and they thought it was funny. And then people started getting more comfortable and next thing you know everyone was dancing. So that was exciting, you know, for me to see like, don't forget about the dancing part, you know, like it's okay. During our concerts it is okay to get up and dance in the aisle. That's what we want you to do. We'll, we'll, we'll even suggest it. <laughs> so. Swing dance has always been interesting in a lot of ways. It's a challenge for the band because it's, it's new repertoire that, of tunes maybe that we've heard, you know, but it's not in our regular book. So we always have to prepare quickly for, um, for the dance. And then when it comes time to play, you kind of forget the music and you have to make it feel good because if you're gonna dance, the music has to feel good. So then once that happens though, you see people, there's this notorious old couple that always comes out to the dance and they, they it's like they look young again, you know, they have all that, all that youth comes out because you know they were doing this years and years ago, they were dancing to these tunes. So to see them is really special, you know, it's a special thing because they, they dance their tunes and they know about that culture, that, those times, you know, so it's almost a history lesson for us in a way. And then you, so you have that age group all the way down to kids that are dancing. Then you have the MSU Swing Dance Club, and they are out there representing, and they practice, you know, all the all the all the different styles of dance. And so they always bring a large group, and so really that it turns into a kind of cultural and, and historical lesson, you know, for everyone there, because we get to go back into, you know, maybe into the 30s, you know, maybe late 20s and 30s, and 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 witness what people did back then for, you know, for like entertainment, you know, we get to, and then as musicians we get to contribute to that and be a part of it, and it's all fun, it's just fun, and it's, it's a joy, you know, it's enjoyment.